Hello, fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now, this week, I have a simple hack, perhaps, that we can do to speed up our renders. But this also poses a question that I'd like to ask all of you Daz users as to why this could be happening. So, first of all, when I set up a scene like this, I just have Milica here, and I was making some promo pictures for some websites using Milica. And this is basically just kind of a, a typical setup where I have three spotlights kind of in our typical arrangement to make some, you know, nice light. And then I just have a couple cameras that I have set up. In my render settings, I'm going to have uh, basically everything set to default, except I have scene only selected. So when I run an iRay preview, I just kind of have a typical scene. Now, what I've noticed is when I set up scenes like this, and I run a render and repose and run a render over and over again, the GPU will stop and the computer will go down to the CPU. And so I have to reset this in order to keep my renders going quickly. So you can see this is just a really typical kind of scene. Now, how I fix this problem is I save my work and then I will just exit out of DAZ completely. Once I'm out of DAZ, I may need to do a control alt delete to make sure that DAZ has completely closed. Um, I've noticed that since the new update of 4.22.16, this closes really quick. And uh, before that, I would have to find Daz Studio in my task manager and close it. But once I do that, I can just open Daz up again and my renders go much faster, at least for a while. And then I have to do this again. So this is a hack. If your renders just really slow down and you're not understanding why, because maybe at first they were going fast, but then you change the camera, pose again, and do another render, and it takes forever. You need to save, close Daz, open it back up again. And what this does, I guess, is reset our GPU so that the computer is running the render with its GPU instead of its CPU. Sometimes I forget to do this and I will start a render that I think will take, you know, 10 or 15 minutes and I'll come back and it's at like 2% and barely rendering. So let's see how long this render takes since I just reset everything. So I'm just going to go and do a simple render and uh, let's time it. Alrighty, everyone. So the render's finished and it took a little while, but um, definitely not as long as it would have taken if the computer was running off of the CPU. So my question is, uh, does anyone have any insight on how we can keep the GPU rendering and how we can stop that CPU from just taking over? Uh, I know that the GPU gets, um, I guess, overloaded and that's what causes it to drop out. But with my computer, it, that shouldn't happen, but occasionally it does. It's like the renders build up and the memory just drops the GPU. So I'd love to hear your insight, uh, your ideas, and uh, what you think would be a good solution. All right, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment or two. I would love to see what you have to say about this topic. And before I go, I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel. I hope to hear from you in the near future. 
take care.